So here's a little short video on three possibilities for patient routing slips. Now the advantage of routing slips is they can be printed in a batch from the appointment book for any date that you wish and it will print routing slips on paper for every patient that's scheduled to come in that day. You can also print individual routing slips so if you had a patient that was added on during the day you can right mouse click and print that one too. However, you can only have one routing slip at a time, one type of routing slip at a time. So what I'm going to show you are three different routing slips. This first one is the one that's already set up in Open Dental, and it's fine. I'm going to show you a couple modifications here in a minute, but this is showing the treatment that was scheduled for today, who referred them, a lot of good information, recall information and so forth in there, insurance information. Um, it's got the aging down here, the account aging. So that, that's a good basic routing slip, and you may want to just stick with that one. It has space down at the bottom where you can write the amount due. And that may suit your needs. Um, if you're using the, the uh, payment options uh, with each patient, so it's very quick to go in there and see what the patient has agreed on as far as their payment plan. Or if the patient has paid in full, then you can simply write on here PIF. Now this goes for all the routing slips, by the way. Um, the advantage of that is that no matter who discharges the patient from the office, they have the routing slip, they can look right down there and say the amount due today is $50 or $200 or whatever it is. Um, a hygienist can do it. Um, then you just shut up. You know, simply say the amount due today, it looks like the amount due today is $150. So quick, easy, anybody can do it. So if somebody is away from the front desk, the person, the chair side or the hygienist, uh, that's discharging the patient, can schedule the next appointment, and collect the amount due. Okay, that goes for all three of these kind of routing slips I'm going to show you. Okay, so that's the first routing slip, first option. This is one that we made, which is just a little bit more detailed version. And it's showing allergies, it's showing other treatment plans out here that are not scheduled. Uh, so, that, or the, excuse me, that have not been completed. Okay, so here it's gone here. It's got the same thing that's over here because this is not completed yet. Okay, it's got information about their last recall appointments just like the other one did. But again, it's just a little bit more detailed. It's got more information on there. It's got the primary and secondary insurance down here. It's got the aging just like the other one does. This is aged out a little bit easier to read, but it's the same information. And it's got more information, at least about the primary insurance plan. It doesn't have so many notes about the secondary, but it's got quite a few notes in there about the primary. If they're in Open Dental, they will display here. So we like this one, and particularly we set it up because it has a place down here for you to write the patient portion. It will not fill that in automatically. All this other stuff is filled in automatically. Same with the first routing slip. But where the first writing slip didn't have this, had, didn't have a specific place, you could still just write it in and everybody knows. But this we said, okay, we want to make sure we write down the patient portion, the total treatment in case they want to pay the whole amount, any discount that they would get, and all this stuff they just pull in from the payment options. So this is meant to work with the payment options. Third routing slip, another one that we concocted here. This is used a little bit differently. This is meant to update your patient information. So if you find you've got a lot of patients coming in that have changed their information, you print these routing slips and you give it to the patient with a clipboard and a pen when the patient walks in the door. And the instructions are right up on the top. Just says we want to keep our records current. Please check the information in here and make any corrections or additions. So it will print all the information that you already have in Open Dental. But, you know, for instance here, we don't have age and birth date and so forth uh, for Donald. So we would ask him to put that in there. That's missing from Open Dental. But anything that's already in Open Dental will be pre-printed on the slip here. So the other thing is we want them to check for any corrections. So you see Donald Duck always says, oh, no, I don't have Delta anymore. Okay. 
So, you know, they write it in here. You then transfer that information into Open Dental. It's a good idea to scan this routing slip because it's got patient information on it. You don't care about the information on the other two routing slips. But the patient's made some, changed some information on here. So scan it in and then all the routing slips, regardless of what kind you use, uh, you shred at the end of the day. So those are the three different options as far as routing slips. With this one, probably you don't want to put the amount due today, although maybe you do. Okay, but the other ones certainly you want to put the patient portion due today on them. So I will send you all three of these routing slips so you can take a look at them uh, full size and then just kind of let us know what you want to do.